Hey there, it's Dr. Jim. Thanks for taking some time. I've got some really, really good information for you. I've been writing a lot, researching a lot as I always do, and on, on topics that I, I find um, interesting but useful for you and, and lots of other folks. So what I want to talk about is leadership, but very specifically, there's a newer form of leadership I've been finding out there in the research, and it's called human-centered leadership. Human-centered leadership. So while there are numerous leadership styles, and I talk about a lot of them, um, many of them are focused on the job, on getting results. Um, you know, we have bureaucratic, transactional leadership, democratic, servanthood uh, transformational leadership. I talk about um, a lot of these in, in other articles and videos on my blog and elsewhere. But we are looking at this concept of human-centered leadership uh, more than ever before. So what is it? Okay. Human leadership, it can be transformative. It can be very engaging um, it can be servanthood-like, but the key element that we're talking about here is that while results are important, the human being is the center of the attention, the person. Now, notice, I'm not saying the employee, your staff member, your colleague, your coworker, the human being comes first, even before customers, clients, or patients. If your people aren't good and they're not receiving the attention that they should from leadership, that could trickle down to bad customer service, bad care, bad support. So what's the focus then? It's, it's the person and it's more than just knowing about the person that you're working with, you're leading. You just don't know about them. You're seeking to really understand that person as a human being. You have conversations, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, real conversations with your people. You ask them about their motivations, their likes, their dislikes, their aspirations. What do they want to do? Where do they want to be a year, five years, 10 years from now? As a leader, a human-centered leader, you want to better understand their state of mind. Where are you up here? Where are you here? And you do actually genuinely care about their well-being. So people are the top priority. It's more than just getting to know them. You ask about their relationships and you work on building better relationships in the workplace itself. So every person is truly unique. There's no doubt about it. We all have similarities and characteristics that we share without a doubt. At the end of the day, it's about what makes each person unique. And always remember this, life happens. In my office, my, my people know that family comes first, physical and mental health are extremely important, and whatever I need to do, if I have a sick kid, if I have an emergency, if I have to run, then they can too. And that's just a standing thing we have here um, in, our, in my companies. So human-centered uh, leadership, it, it relies a great deal on flexibility. As I just alluded to, parents are going to age and need attention. Kids are going to get sick and have accidents and need to be picked up from school. Things are going to happen. Crises will occur. And we can't be so strict that we say, it's okay for me to get up and leave, but it, it's not okay for you. Uh, that's, that's not good. Life is fluid. 
Every day can bring new challenges, tragedies, successes. Staff are exposed to the same stuff that you and I are. People are exposed to things that are going to influence their motivation, their energy, their productivity, their overall state of mind. And these things really do matter when it comes to human-centered leadership. So let me share with you some, uh, some characteristics that I've written about in my article. Since you're watching this, you may not feel like reading it. Some people love to read. They email me and they call me and they say, hey, I'm a reader. I, I like your videos and whatnot, but I'm a reader. Um, and please, if you find the, the, the article, share it with your colleagues. This is a good one. So characteristics of the human-centered leader. Number one, they believe that all employees can grow through experience and education. Two, they exercise great empathy. Just like I understand your mom has Alzheimer's and she fell at the nursing home, of course, I would go see too. They meet their people where they are. Number three, they own their own mistakes. And they quickly forgive mistakes of other people. Four, they exhibit a real interest and curiosity in their people. And they believe in them. Number five, they're great, active listeners. Which means, I hear your words, but I'm paying attention to the emotionality under your words. Next, they treat every single day as a start, a new beginning for themselves and for their people. And I, I love that. I love that we have a new day and a new year and a new month. More stuff for me to mess up <laughs> or become better or become better. Okay. Next characteristics, they empower people to do their best. And when you empower people to do their best and you let them go, what do you develop? Trust. Human-centered leaders are come as you are, come as you are. They're transparent, they're real, they're vulnerable, and I like those things. To me, human-centered leadership is about, I have nothing to hide. What you see is what you get, and people really like that because there's so much fake and phony stuff out there. Um, when, you, when you come across somebody who's a really solid leader um, and, and open and honest, and you just look into their eyes and you know, this is someone I want to be around. This is someone I want to become like. I want to emulate. All right. They also want honest feedback. They're not afraid to challenge things and shake things up a little bit. They don't want to settle for the status quo. Another important characteristic they encourage their people to engage in something you're doing right now, continuous learning. And they are themselves lifelong learners. And the more I learn, I, I realize how much I don't know. They appreciate diversity on multiple levels, on many levels, and they leverage it, though, to open up great opportunities. And they never, ever stop thanking people, okay? So here are my final thoughts. Leadership is one of the most important topics, in my opinion, regardless of occupation, the workplace type, or industry. Of course, we have to get things done. We have to focus on results and profits and so on and so forth. Those are all very important. But above and before those things, treating your people like human beings first and foremost, this can enhance the entire workforce, environment, and atmosphere. Everybody knows that employees are people. But sometimes leaders don't stop and think about that very crucial point. They have lives. They have families and friends. They have successes and tragedies, accidents and illnesses, just like leaders do. So adopting some human-centered leadership characteristics seems to be a pretty good bet to me. So thank you for watching. Again, 
We publish the article for every single video that I do, and we also publish a lot of smaller, shorter videos so that you could just take bites of information. But either way, thank you for spending time with me. I'm Dr. Jim Collins. Keep coming back for more, I hope, interesting stuff. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for your time. If you'd like more information about a great online learning management system with the most wonderful support, best in class support and partnering, please look for the link to the website in the description. You'll love what you see.